All right, hello, welcome to my second touch designer tutorial. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. In this one, we're going to be creating this cool effect that you can see in the background here. It's again quite a simple setup. Uh, so, what we are going to do is just delete everything and start from scratch. Just quickly zoom out, and in the project container, you can see I'm working with a 1280 by 1280 width and height. And the background top is forward slash BG. So we're just going to start off by creating a constant chop and just change the value here to 0 0.15. If you middle, middle click mouse here and add a math, and on the math, we're just going to change the range here to 10. Next, we're going to add a noise top and place that right about here and change a couple of things on the settings here. So, change the period to around about 1.4. Harmonics leave it the same. Turn down the spread to right about 0 0.67. Uh, bump up the gain to 2. Just modify the exponent a little bit to run about 0 0.27 or anything that you, you like. And the amplitude, let's turn that down a tiny bit as well. Okay. We're going to stick this into a transform. And place it there. And just take the scale down a little bit to about 0 0.8. Next, we're going to add a level just to give it a little bit more control on this. Like so. Okay. Next, going to add that into a blur and change a couple settings in the blur. Change the pre shrink here to 8 and that will be it for now. I'm going to take this math, make it your, um, active, and paste it. And chop reference into it here. If you click this one here, you're just going to times that one by eight, like so. I'm going to copy paste this an extra few times so there's four blurs and just change a couple of things in each one of them. So, blur number two, we're going to make the pre shrink four. And times that one by four. Blur number three, we're going to make the pre shrink two. And times that one by two. And blur number four, we're going to make the pre shrink one. And just leave that as so. So if we just divide these a little bit. Like that. These three here are going to be added into a composite. So if we just click here, type in composite, and drag all of these into that, like so. On the composite, I'm just going to change your operation to screen. Uh, there it is. Okay. And on this one, we're going to add an add. Right about there. If we drag this one and place it into there, like so. And then we're just going to add a couple more things into that. 
So this will give us a bit more control. We're going to add a lookup and then a transform and then a level and then a null which we're going to name EG. Okay, so I do believe on this noise here, I have to go and type in a couple of expressions. So that will be abs time seconds times 0 0.2. So it starts to move, and if you just copy paste that one into the TZ as well. So there we go. Okay, now onto the lookup here, we're going to add a ramp, and on this ramp, you can just change any of the colors. So, I like to usually work with some oranges, and click on the black, and let's just make that a purple. Okay. Cool. Actually, if we turn that one down there, add one here, and then add the purple, so you get like a nice effect. And turn it down a bit, like so, so it's not too glowy around the edges. Okay. Um, if you want to add the grainy effect then if you check out my other previous touch designer tutorial I showed you how to make the grain effect um, just for ease of time I will just copy and paste it from my previous file okay so with the grain effect that we made in the last touch designer tutorial, I'm just going to paste that in, uh, disconnect it here, connect this one there, connect this one into there, and now if we turn on the display, and it does look that some, maybe here underneath the common needs to be bumped up to 1280 by 1280 and there we go we have a nice VHS looking glitchy uh, lava lamp effect on the square um, if there's any questions regarding this tutorial please just either send them through uh, my Instagram which is my username is tech motif uh, I'll post that in the description below or you can just send a comment on this video and I would be able to get back to you. Um, yeah, if there's anything else that you want me to show how to make on my Instagram, just uh, also just send me a message and um, stay tuned for more touch designer tutorials. Thank you.